Take another lake and an unfinished bridge, add a few giant balls plus an adrenaline fueled ninja chasing the contestants and trying to chuck them off, and you've got the recipe for a brilliant game of pursuit. If anyone's born to be a champ, it's champ. So let's hope he doesn't bring shame on his name and have to change it to loser. Looks like the ninja man is ready to go. That or his outfit is really itchy. The contestant's over the first ball. The second is proving tricky as the man in black starts to chase. He slides round the side of the balls instead of going over the top. That's giving him the lead as the ninja has failed. Can Champ hold on and go all the way to the finish? No. I imagine this young woman has many friends and a busy social life. Yet she's chosen to be chased across an assault course by a scary looking character wearing a balaclava and a onesie. When I say chased across an assault course, what I actually mean is she plunges into the lake before she's even started. Next, it's Benson. He eats steaks that are that big because it makes him strong and attractive. In fact, he's already picked up an admirer in a black all-in-one suit. But Benson left him behind. On to the rotating beams, a game which you could practice on the gates of a railway crossing, but only if you're a complete idiot, which Benzin isn't, despite what he looks like in that helmet. He's made it. Now this guy is straight onto the balls of certain death. They don't actually cause death, but they could give you a nasty blister, which is always irritating but not as irritating as that ninja. He's got as far as the swing bridge, and this doesn't look good. I've never seen anyone recover from that position. And I guess I never will. Okay.